so um, Siti, when it comes to um, victims of cults, you know, um, what are the few things that they have to start off with, you know, if they want to come out and voice out? Like, mm. we, we did mention that, you know, mm. fear is one of them. Yes. What are the steps they can actually do to... Uh, the problem is whether they they can actually know they actually know they are victims. You know, that's the the, the thing. If they realize that they are victims, uh, if they realize that if maybe they don't know they are victims, uh, I mean this is under whatever situation you are in. Whether you are a victim of cult, uh, victim of violence, or vic uh, victim of abuse, uh, in any shape or form. Um, you know, as I said, you should reach out, reach out to uh, whoever closest to you, uh, not to the uh, perpetrator, which is the abuser, uh, but you should actually try to reach out even, even, even to the mailman, for example, if that is only your access uh, uh, to people, because I believe when you are under control, uh, they will try and control you not to be in touch with the outside world. Uh, they will, you know, uh, technically put you uh, you know under confinement as much as they can to control you so if you can if you can reach out reach out to the first person uh, that you say you need help you need help and the person who actually uh, you know who hear this from anyone whether it's a maid whether whether it's a wife or a husband or anyone that actually say please help me uh, that means that person really reaching out to, for help and what you can do, you can actually go to the police station uh, and inform them that this person, uh, you know, uh, uh, asking for my help. I don't really know what is her, pro uh, her or his problem, but she's uh, she's she's looking in fear. Uh, then uh, you know, I just thought I must actually lodge, and I, I want you to do a check on this. Uh, uh, you you can do that as a uh, as a public uh, person, and. There's so many things you can also, uh, if it's involving children, you can report to the JKM, uh, you know, and, and things like that. But don't keep it quiet, you know, don't sit on it, you know, uh, because it might, uh, you know, actually uh, one person's life is in your hands. Uh, so if you can, try and help if you can. Yeah. That is if coming from an outsider's perspective. But what happened if you are the victim itself? Mm. Out of itself? Well, the victim. As I said, if you feel that you need help, you want help, uh, you need to overcome uh, this fear, uh, this fear that uh, you know that nobody will listen to you, or or fearful that this uh, person who is controlling you will be uh, taking action uh, uh, upon you. So what you need to do first of all is to be brave for your own sake. No one can control you. If you don't let them, you know, as I keep saying uh, to some uh, people that mm. no one can tell you to do anything unless you allow them uh, to do, uh, to control you, to tell you, uh, you know, the, this fear is what makes people, uh, you know, worry about a lot of things and, and, and you, we must, uh, you know, I'm not to say that don't be fearful at all because, you know, to say that we are not human. Uh, there will be some element of uh, fear, but overcome that and, and try to reach out uh, to people uh, in whatever manner you can. Uh, for example, like Anis, you know, I, I'm not saying that she's under a, a cultish uh, situation. Maybe she is. I don't know. To be honest, I have no idea what is a cult, but it's just that uh, uh, from what the description, perhaps uh, she is under uh, under a, a sort of a cultish, uh, uh, um, cultish relationship. Yes, uh, where the mother is having a total, complete control uh, on her uh, uh, in that that she she's not even free to step outside the front door. Um, so what she did was in you know uh, she reached out uh, via uh, messenger uh, to me and and you know at least you know in her fear she is still fearful. Mind you, she is still very fearful of her mother, uh, and she keeps saying that her mother will not stop. You know, she did say that to me. Um, at first, I didn't actually take very much notice because, uh, to be honest, I don't know how really, in a way, uh, uh, you know, the mother is lah. I don't want to use the word crazy, but, <laughs> but anyway, uh, you know, the, uh, only a person uh, with the, that C word will behave as, as she is, to be honest. Yeah. Um, anyway, and, and so I told her, nobody, 
can uh, can uh, 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 do anything to you unless you allow them to do so. So you need to take control of uh, of your own self and be strong for yourself, for your sake. You know, it's not for anybody. It's for your own sake uh, to save yourself. You know, you need to be taking steps. Uh, uh, you know, for about yourself, not not any about anyone else. So if you cannot help yourself, who? is going to help you then uh, you know I mean at the end of the day it comes down to ourselves. Um, but then again you know it's easy for us to say right because uh, we are not uh, under so-called cult uh, or control state of mind uh, but but if you allow people to control your mind to say that whatever they say is correct then you are uh, being controlled so you need to uh, always not you know use your brain basically very simple use your brain use your your akal uh, god has given you brain to be used don't let it wasted you know don't rely on somebody else to say that you are you are stupid you are you you are you are you cannot survive without me uh, don't let anyone tell you that because uh, then you are under that person's control uh, you can think you can decide for yourself I mean, I hope they it will reach out uh, to the people. So, is there any like support group that we can that, that, that for them to uh, reach out to? Uh, if you just say it comes to women issues, mm. is there any support? Group that they yes, support? Uh, I mean, these uh, support groups like the women's aid uh, organization, they actually do a very good job in helping domestic violence uh, women. But in any kind of situation, meaning that if they are a victim, uh, they are victims of uh, violent, uh, abused, uh, you know, uh, and anything that which is not normal, uh, they can actually uh, uh, get help from the WAO, or even you know there is a helpline number. Actually, if you Google, there will be a helpline number. Uh, Awam as well. Awam. Um, I can't remember the long name for it. Uh, I think something action. I don't know. I mean, awam lah. And then <laughs> there is a helpline, Telinisa, Telinisa, which is run by the sister uh, sisters in Islam. Uh, they actually has have this uh, helpline in which actually Anis, again my client, uh, uh, reach out to Telinisa uh, to for help uh, for someone to accompany her to Jais. Thank God for that lah. I know to be honest. Otherwise, uh, we wouldn't know where Anis is now because uh, she's arrested then quickly brought to the hospital uh, by the police you know as I said this is condoned by the authorities uh, their behavior and uh, we wouldn't know where she is but thank God she reached out and asked for help uh, that's uh, uh, one thing so that's uh, there are many many uh, 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 you know helpline that people can uh, reach out through phones uh, even internet as well yeah if you have access to it so if just say you are you are an outsider and you see something happen. Can we actually reach out to this helpline and ask them yes. so that we can reach out to the victims? As yes, well? uh, most most definitely. But uh, I would advise not just uh, call this helpline, but also lodge police report and do not be fearful. If what you see and you you what you you hear is first hand, let's say you heard abuse uh, uh, happening next door, you know you heard uh, crying or you know like hitting and all that so don't be afraid to lodge police report you know be, uh, just say that i believe uh you know what what what, what is happening uh you know i'm just concerned that something serious might happen uh, harmful might happen to the person uh, i just want the police to check uh you know uh, uh you just say that you, you just do this police report out of concern and you want the police to make sure that there's nothing wrong with your neighbor you know so there's no harm doing that and also you can also call the helpline and inform them of uh, the give them the information the details of the people next door or whoever you feel that in need of help so again uh, you know I, I see a lot of our society uh, have this attitude of not bothered you know don't 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 cut trouble don't go in, you know why do you want to be bothered uh, things don't like that more. yeah don't yeah don't get into trouble lah. why you want to be busybody you know this is not about being busybody. It's a, uh, or, or don't why why don't yourself uh, why don't you get into trouble and stuff like that? You know this is about humanity, man. You just put yourself if you are in the position of the abused. You know 
would you want help? You know, uh, you, you, I'm sure if you are, you try and put yourself uh, uh, in the person's shoes, I'm sure you want help. You would be so grateful that there are other people who cares for you. You know, and, and, and this is what we must be. We must be a nation of caring people. You know, a, a nation of people who cares about our neighbors, uh, about 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 others, uh, not just to, to people who are of the same religion, uh, to same race. No, this is about humanity. You know, uh, I think once we have that feeling of being humane, uh, you know, we are already there, you know, and I'm sure Jana will be waiting for you. You know, it's not about being religious or what. It's about being, you know, helping each other. This is so important. I think a quality that we must instill in our our people. Yeah, be empathy. You know, empathetic towards others. Uh, it's just so important. Yeah. Yes, it's good. Okay. So, um, Sheriff and Kong, I mean, can you explain what are the char characteristics of cult, you know, like, or cult-like uh, groups. Yeah. Um, um, at any time when, when a group leader or, or the group environment is utilizing fear uh, to, to stop you from doing something, uh, to make threats, uh, to tell you that your thought is not important, uh, I mean, don't think, uh, thinking is actually bad for you, uh, be it uh, it's a religious reason or a personal reason or whatever, then you might be in a so-called cultic relationship. Uh, one, one example would be uh, Tina Turner. Uh, Tina Turner was with, in, in a long time, uh, a relationship with her boyfriend. Her boyfriend beats her up, um, take all her money from singing, okay? And, and she, I think she only has like, I don't know, maybe 10 or 10 US dollars, uh, maybe 15 US dollars per week, that's it, that's it. And uh, sometimes the boyfriend would actually beat her up so badly and then immediately have sex with her. That was the kind of abuse that she's going through. But she she fears so much. We waited like more than 10 years before she actually, like uh, the so-called last straw on the, uh, on the back of the, uh, yeah. the camel. And then she just uh, took the money and left. And then that's it. Okay, but, but some women may not be as lucky as her. Some women may not, may not have the last straw, they die. Okay, so so people have really have to be careful. I think that's that's what I have to say. For me, it's a uh, very simple. Uh, cultish behavior, or cultish pattern is something that is harming your body, mind, and spirit, mm -hmm. whether physically or financially, create troubles in your emotion, yeah, in your in your well being, harming your well being. That can be considered cultish. Mm -hmm. yeah, something that there's many negative and suppressive. So, is there any um, groups or movement that uh, will be coming up? in terms of uh, helping people to be more aware of what cult is in, in Malaysia. Yeah, we are uh, forming or try to create a group called ICANN. ICANN means a small I there, because I there, the ego of this member has to be small. Not be egoistic, yeah? not in my way, but collectively we move toward one same direction, which is helping the victim. And I see, I can see stand for cult and an awareness network. We try to gather experts from various areas, like lawyers, uh, counsellors and psychologists and uh, sit down together and discuss and uh, collect some data and uh, looking for ways to help the victims and how to get rid of the cults, yeah, cults phenomena or cult symptoms. Mm. Mm. I, I would say that thinking for yourself is very important but sometimes uh, we have to think that victims under this kind of relationship or this kind of groups, they don't, they don't know that they are unable to think. Mm. They, they don't realize that. So one other way to actually so-called short circuit this process is to allow a lot of people to know how cult works. How do they recruit? How do they manipulate? How do they make threats? How do they use fear to, uh, to control you? By making those things uh, uh, so-called uh, aware in the public, then people might have a chance to, oh, maybe I'm in a cult. Yeah. Yeah, you start with an awareness. Lah. So one thing I want to add is that before you call police, if you're emotionally unstable, if you're fearful, there's a technique that you can use. It's called emotional freedom technique, EFT. Tapping. It's tapping along your certain uh, meridian points mm -hmm. and to say certain words like, I'm fearful, but I'm willing to learn myself. I'm fearful, but I'm willing to ask for help. I'm fearful, but I'm, I accept myself totally. 
I love it. This kind of technique you can learn from Google or YouTube. Just keep keep tapping or EFT, emotional freedom technique. And this is something you can do whether you are in a, in a cult situation or not. Whether you want to help yourself or you yourself is a victim. Yeah, just technique that I highly recommend. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. I really I always thought that the cult is like the you know like this cult leader. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know they have this uh, yeah, yeah. harem, you know, yeah, yeah. people that. That's like the first uh, official. Uh, yeah, I, I thought yeah. I thought that is the uh, what cult is always. Yeah. That's my understanding yes, of yes, what yes. cult. Yeah, uh, but I didn't know this is something new mm. that about explaining yes, yes. Uh, behaviors in a cult behaviors. Uh, can be, behavior. Yeah, it can be just uh, person, 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 person to person. Yeah, uh, one to five. So yeah. it's all about uh, the behavior of the controller yes, control. and the victim uh, yeah. reaction. Suppressing so, and manipulative. Mm. Yeah, I, and it's something I learned life. today, lah. Yeah, every every day happening. Yeah, that yeah. means there are many, many cultish uh, relationships. Yeah, cult <laughs> come from different, different areas. So different areas, areas political cult, religious cult, yeah. cultural cults. Oh, okay. I, cult. I, I thought these uh, <laughs> cults are the one wearing, you know, funny, funny, yeah. and, you know, <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 you know, they have their own farm, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah, things yeah, like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, would say, I would say if people date enough, mm. they probably meet at least one Cultish relationship, yeah. cultic personality, you know, personality, yeah, personality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can't. Yeah. I don't think I have. <laughs> <laughs> unless, unless I'm the cult leader. 